there's a, a, a sort of famous ultra mar- mar- marathon adage that if you can't see the top of the hill, walk. It's, it's, I mean, it's, and that is sort of widely accepted by the uh, ultra marathon community. If you can't see the top of the hill, the hill, walk. Because there's no point spending what is probably only going to be three minutes busting your ass up a hill when you can just sort of take a breather and then run down the other side. In the grand context of of a an event which might be anywhere between sort of ten and thirty hours long. Three minutes isn't going to make any difference. No. So uh, you and and it and it adds to the enjoyment as well. Actually, sometimes if you if you want to spend a couple of minutes walking um, halfway through an endurance uh, an ultra marathon, actually you get to sort of appreciate the surroundings and you might end up spending two minutes at an aid station having a chat with someone and and just sort of saying thank you to the supporters. It just it all adds to the the. Um, the environment it adds to the sort of camaraderie it adds to the the, the whole enjoyment of, of 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 an event like that you, i mean obviously there are some people that are going to run these things in ridiculously quick times and fly through and run for, for, you know a kilometer every five minutes for non-stop for 15 hours that is absolutely incredible but there's we're talking a minute percentage of 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 a percentage you know minute number of people that are able to do that the the average normal people amongst us um it's it's just a case of enjoy it walk it crawl it doesn't it doesn't matter get over the finish line and and get that sense that sense of satisfaction of having accomplished a task much like making your bed in the morning yeah 